It's really a good reason. And I tried it with a, um, with a buffer overflow demonstration program I wrote some years ago. And with that small program, it's a, sl a small TCP server, yeah, but with that program, this decompiler already produces almost the original code. Yeah? All, I had to do only small changes to the C code to recompile it again. So that was a really good proof for me um, that this decompiler really works. Yeah? And very interesting, um, Ilfak built this, uh, built this decompiler. Yeah? Um, and I think some of you know Ilfak. He was the initial author of EDA Pro. Yeah? The software is actually in beta state, yeah, but really impressive from my side, promising. And bad news are it will be released as a commercial add-on for EDA. So if we want to use it, you have to pay for it. Yeah? But there are a lot of more interesting features that are planned, like an API to support plugins for the decompiler plugin, like vulnerability analyzers, yeah? finding buffer overflows in software. Yeah? And there's another part that's very promising, function prototype recovery. When you're doing disassembly, it's very often the hard part to find out the function prototype. Yeah? And it's planned to do it that in an automatically way. So um, I'm very interested to see that. For now, it isn't working, but it's planned. And very important, in the future, maybe, we don't need a lot of assembler know-how yeah, to reverse engineer software yeah, because we get readable C code. If you are interested in, hex, uh, in the HexRace Hex compiler, um, for now, there is uh, one site, www.hexblock.com, where you can find information. Yeah? And thanks to Ilfak for providing me the beta version. It was a lot of fun to deal with it. Came a little bit late for our Cisco NUC stuff, yeah, but quite promising software in doing reverse engineering, in doing research, and understand how software works. Okay, so that's quick summary. We talked about tools we used. Yeah, we saw how Cisco NUC is working, yeah, and how our approach was made to, to hack it. So now we can start with our demonstration, with our showtime, okay. and show you um, how you can circumvent a Cisco NAC protected network. Okay. If you fell asleep, now it's time to uh, wake up again. Uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> OK. Um, just for you to understand, uh, or well, well, actually, you know, let me just, so for, for all of you who are currently in the state of waking up, um, you know, we had a very big trip. We had a very, very, very bad trip coming to the United States. Like we flew on US Air. Anyone here a US Air fan? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, we had to take two planes and both of them were broken. Um, and we had to change to Philadelphia. The first one, um, you know, we, we got on the plane in Frankfurt and, and it started taxiing onto the, to, to, to the runway. We reached the runway. Um, the pilot said, oh, well, we have a problem in our hydraulic system. We need to go back to the, to the gateway. And, you know, we taxied all the way back, and they made us wait in the plane for an hour and a half before liftoff. Um, and then we changed planes in Philadelphia, and, of course, because we, had an, we were an hour and a half late, uh, we were on a very tight schedule for changing, and we had to run through customs and immigration and stuff. And, of course, you know, we had a Cisco router in our check baggage, so you know, they pulled us out and did some additional screening. Uh, we made it, and we actually got our pl uh, scheduled plane going to Las Vegas from Philadelphia. Our baggage didn't, <laughs> right? Um, then we arrived in, in, in Las Vegas uh, with US Air and got off the pl plane and went to the baggage claim, and uh, you know, we were waiting there, waiting there, waiting there. Half an hour later, um, there was an announcement like, oh, well, the US Air flight from... Uh, uh, from Philadelphia to Las Vegas uh, has a technical problem. We can't open the baggage compartments. We can't get the baggage <laughs> out, right? You'll have to wait. <laughs> so we waited another an hour or so until they finally managed to get the baggage out of the, tr out of the plane and put it on the, on, the, on the baggage claim belt. And our baggage wasn't then there. because they had, <laughs> yeah? And so then we arrived at the hotel. Okay, and there was another part to it. I, I will not go into details. It was a horror <laughs> trip. Um, and they got us our uh, check baggage with a Cisco router a day later. 
um, here to the hotel. It actually worked. Uh, and I heard uh, US Air is very good at delivering uh, laid baggage or delayed baggage. I, I heard they're better than at flying planes. Um, <laughs> and uh, um, well, but what happens is that, uh, well, the router doesn't work. <laughs> Screw, huh? Not cool. Um, fortunately, we have plan B and plan C. Um, <laughs> plan B, we have a second lab back in Germany, which we can access over the internet, and that is what we'll do now. So we have a internet base, so we don't have our router here sitting here because it doesn't work anymore, uh, but we'll access it over the internet. That's more or less the, uh, um, the setup. <laughs> so, uh, so the plan set up. <laughs> that, 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 that was the, pl the plan set up for here. Um, basically, there is, I think, there, is there a change in IP addresses or did you fix it, Michael? No, there's a change because there's a change, So there's a little change in IP address, so that's basically all, right? And we are exiting through, through uh, VMware and uh, Cisco VPN connections. Um, but it'll work. We tested it, it works. And plan C, we have a recorded, a video recorded session of the demo. That was have been plan C and then just doing a live comment on that. Um, and actually, plan C wasn't developed until last night uh, or this morning, 2 a.m. Um, um, what a late night after, you know, we figured, oh, well, we need something, we need a fallback. Um, the good news for you, or for all of you out here, is that, well, we'll give the recorded session to, to Black Hat and they could put it up on... Uh, on, on, on the side is extra material, so there'll be just a video of uh, what we'll be showing here now, um, if they put it up, right? So that's the good news of staying up late at 2 a.m. Okay, in, now I guess all of you are awake again. You can start. <laughs> 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 it was just to give you, you know, the chance to wake up. And we'll start with the, um, with the demo now. Um, okay, so we need to connect through VPN to the boxes. We have an uh, ACS server, and we have a router, and we have a, our CTA, the... the uh, Hacked box is actually running on this notebook here. There's a VMware where we put the CTA and where we are, hacking, we are hacking it. And all the infrastructure side, that is the router who is, who is enforcing, and the ACS are back in Germany in our lab. Okay, So that's why we need a VPN connection uh, to get at them. Okay, So that's a Cisco Secure ACS server. Um, I guess I just start with showing you a, um, a policy. Um, where is the mouse? I'm losing the mouse when I'm over the ACS. Oh, here it is. And you see it's a sort of a going a bit slow. Uh, that's because of the you know, VPN connection. But at least we are happy that um, um, Blacker provided us some internet connection that's usable in the room. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so uh, anyone of you familiar with the Cisco Secure ACS server? Sort of hands up. Okay, how do you like the user interface? <laughs> <laughs> or is there anyone that likes the user interface? <laughs> uh, I think it's pretty bad. Um, Oh, well, this is really, 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 really slow. I have to be careful with the mouse. Okay, uh, configure. Okay, I just want to show you a policy. Um, just, okay, um, I don't know if you can read it, but we have this very nice little tool which will help you read it. Okay, so basically what it says is Cisco hosts service packs, service pack two, if it uh, tells that. Um, then the uh, application poster token will be healthy, and there should be a second one with the operating system. No, it's not in here, right? No. No, okay. Just so that's, that's a quite simple one. So if you, if you tell it you're running uh, Service Pack 2, no matter what operating system, um, <laughs> <laughs> you will be assigned a poster token of healthy. Um, and we just uh, want to show you that it's actually working, so maybe just uh, go, go and show you're getting a healthy back. Yeah. So that, that's our uh, VMware, and um, the VMware has the CTA installed, yeah? and what I have to do first is um, connect to the network, so um, first I have to start a VPN connection to get that work. Okay, now see. So I'm a remote user dialing into the company network, and must provide, of course, valid credentials, and then the system is checked later on if it's compliant to the defined policy service pack two. Before I start that, maybe, of course, we have service pack two installed. That's the Windows XP with service pack two. So I start the communication with a ping request, just pinging into the internal network. I mean, any, and any IP will, ha will do. Yeah. Like we do just with, uh, and what ping. you see is the okay. result. 
Okay. Yeah. So service pack two is installed. So we'll get a notification from the ACS via the NAD saying, congratulations, your client is healthy. Okay, so this is basically uh, working as designed, right? Um, we can also show you the router if you want to have a look at the router. Uh, do we have a, um, do, do we have the router somewhere? I mean, you can just we have to do it in the yeah. RDP session. Yeah, should have opened the session, but <laughs> the RDP session is extremely slow. Um, you can just Okay. Just, just to show you what's happening on the router, um, just hang on with us so that we get a console. We have a um, serial console attached to the ACS server back in Germany, which then connects into the router, so we can, uh, while we're here, we can actually show you um, the router if it works. It should. Yeah, it should. Um. Basically, <laughs> uh, the PuTTY session is inactive, just restart it. Yeah. It's just. Um, uh, because the VPN went down and the network went down, all the PuTTY session, of course, which was in there, also went down. Um, and we all know good passwords, right? So if the username is password, what do you think the. Uh, if, the if the username is Cisco, what do you think the password is? Okay. Uh, you are really great hackers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to, to, ten score, uh, you just score 10 points on the uh, password uh, guessing. Um, <laughs> right. Um, is that you? 67.41, check the IP address. So it says unknown, uh, can't be. Um, I guess that's the, no, the it's other box. Yeah, it's, um, it's the other box. It's the other box. There are too many boxes in the network. So, uh, there we are. There we are. Okay, here we are. You see, it's a healthy. This is just working as designed. Nothing hacked yet. Don't believe we hacked it. Okay? <laughs> okay. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to step ahead and, um, you know, I, I, I want to keep my, I, I'm the administrator of this network. I want to keep the bad guy out. The bad guy is standing right behind me, okay? Um, and, um, uh, what do you mean which NAC? Uh, we are using NAC layer 3 IP of the three flavors, um, just because that's the one we can uh, access through uh, VPN, okay? That's one you would always do with when using VPN. Um, okay, so let me just go back to my Cisco Secure ACS and raise the bar. I want to keep him out. Um, what would be a good option to keep him out? Um, like require something he can't provide, right? Yeah, you, you <laughs> good <got> idea. It. <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Um, and now. Uh, we all know uh, Microsoft hasn't issued Service Pack 3 right now, right? So let me just load this here. It says Service Pack 2, um, and I will change this with a whole lot of patience <laughs> into Service Pack 3. Um, can you read it, or do you want me to put up the, uh, um, the lens? It's fine? Okay. You could also just say you... Uh, okay, so I, I pressed Enter 1. <laughs> Now I need to submit. <laughs> now I need to submit a second time. <laughs> oh, and now it says uh, changes will be applied only after pressing the save configuration. <laughs> right? so, um, Are you really <laughs> sure? <laughs> okay, so I need to scroll down. Um, and now I say, uh, uh, it's freezing. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> This is the RDP, this is the network, uh, this is a network related problem. Okay, now I, I hit it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay.